Starting with the classic right triangle, we have one side, the hypotenuse, that's directly opposite the 90 degree angle. The other two sides of the triangle are adjacent to this right angle. We can call these sides A, B, and C for easy reference. If we create two squares based on the lengths of the legs of this triangle, it's easy to see that the areas of these squares are a squared and b squared, respectively. Arranging these two squares to be side by side, it's clear that the overall base is a plus b in length. If the positions of these two lengths were swapped, the overall dimension doesn't change, but it provides an opportunity to divide the area of the two squares by using two copies of the original triangle. Doing this leaves three shapes, two instances of the original triangle and one irregular polygon. Through a bit of geometric gymnastics, we can pivot the two triangles on their corners to nest perfectly within the irregular polygon to create a square with sides of length c and an area of c squared. Recalling that this new square was constructed from the parts of the original two squares, we've shown that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem.